Greetings and welcome back to Long War 2. We are looking at that supply rate which we actually infiltrated to 100%. And it's still extremely heavy activity. So that's going to be not a walk in the park. But then again, we're not sending any rookies there, right? Infiltration sensor shield. I just boosted infiltration here. That's why we are at 100%. We, if you remember doing squad setup, we like did a lot of um, trade-offs in order to actually reach this percentage, and I'm actually quite happy that we did. So let's see what we can find. Am I gonna get a briefing, or can I? The resistance no. ambushed an advent train moving through an area of remote wilderness, and they've left plenty of cargo for salvage. That's where we come in. Once you're on the ground, eliminate all hostile contacts and secure the area. Seize anything of value. So we only have seven people here. And that's almost a zero percent supply rate here. We're not doubling up on any classes. It's a single sniper, single gunner. Move to secure. Eliminate all hostiles. Also, as much as I like Harvey. Ooh, hi. So, yeah. I think we might have some enemies just around the corner. Which. <clears throat> I obviously would prefer some high ground, I just don't see it anywhere. Oh, I didn't even bring Eren, so we don't have any... any flames. The only thing we have here is saturation fire to, for some area destruction. And a bunch of grenades. Also, no, we do, do have a gremlin. Let's see what we can find here. I'm working on it. Oh no, more of them. That's, um, mm-hmm, interesting. How about no? How about we firmly and quickly move into the different direction and search for better engagement? Ooh, maybe a bit of more than I can chew here. That that area is now advanced strength. I don't even know. Way too much. see any okay this could take a while I'm gonna uh, run around the map like a madman looking for that better spot where we can engage from because this is not it like too much high cover for the enemy not enough for us good to go and too many enemies in one spot I'm all over it so let's dash the hell away got it covered Um, didn't I? Didn't I move you back here? You do have Ghostwalker if things go down. Okay, so that's fine. Um, where are they? They're there. So, oh, that's not good. Guess that'll be okay. Bot is moving off in that direction. Rainbow pod moved to the back, and I'm not even sure there was anything else. Don't think so.
We do have... I think that's a building or something over there. So... You saw these enemies. We need any any advantage that we can get. So let's take a look. Nothing. Uh, it's just not very much cover, but we'll, we'll work it out. We'll make it work. Just 32 enemies. Go, go, go. Let's do this. Do have a shred storm cannon, so that's like I'm all over it. If we position it right and get the right amount of targets, then that's half the enemy's gone, right? This way. Yeah. Not really. I'm all over it. Also, we can just uh, control the sector pod for two turns. What's going on? And that's more casual part of Muton and some extras. the command uh, last time I did this kind of supply raid someone said like uh, yeah you're gonna take the scenic route now to see more of the map on these missions yeah solid copy every step I take already there sector pods like oh I'm here I'm stomping Forget about me. Understood. Moving out. Going up. I'm on the move. not the worst engagement, but obviously I would prefer starting off against the, um, the infamous rainbow pot. Now what kind of cover positions do we have here anyway? Got this tree as high cover. This car doesn't look really great. Question is which direction they move. If they continue in this area, then maybe I can try to set up here for a trench gun. That's affirmative. Good news is we might be able to just take them out without anyone else on the map noticing. Because the rest of the groups were all on the other side of the tracks. And um, yeah. So let's... I don't like the lack of high cover here, in general. Let's actually put you over here. Which frees up this spot for ND. Which I don't know what to do with... Cosmos. That building. Really sucks. Like the only spot we have with high cover is, is all the way over there. That's too far away for my taste. Mm. 
You know what? Actually, come back here. Rolling out. Covering now. Overwatch. Okay. On you do way. have a bunch of armor. Four points of armor. That's actually not too bad. Moving to Overwatch. And Yana. Well. Let's try. stay there. Well, uh, what can I say? That's probably the best shot we will get outside of, uh, you know, our shots that we don't get uh, to start this off. Do want to overwatch? Actually, I think I do. Let's give an A protocol to Centipede. To Overwatch. We can get some. Which is kind of wasted on an Overwatch shot now that I realize that. And he has side of bullets, demolition, saturation. If something survives, he can help with that. Oh, he's two shots and rapid. No, he doesn't. Oh, he does it rapid fire. So three shots potential, and obviously Daniel. Okay. As I said, I think I'm even having an advanced suppressor here, so the sound range of that probably didn't even um, reach the other side of the train. So, yeah. <laughs> Who needs... Uh, what's it called again? Street sweeper, when you have trench gun, huh? So far, so good. Got it covered. Got it covered. Well, looks like those guys are joining the party. I've got eyes on Advent Crew. It's the group of eight. But they were not on a list. Missed. Don't even think about it. Okay, got two overwatches. Four overwatches. That's kind of bad. Okay, what's our priority targets? Grenadier, Rocketeer. Oh, those overwatches though. one way to deal with overwatches, right? That would remove three of them. I'm actually tempted to come further around to this side. Might be able to get like five or six targets into the Shredstone Cannon. Just a bit concerned. What 
else I might pull there. Okay, I mean that Rocketeer will fire. There's not much I can do about him. I'm standing here and firing that Shredstorm cannon. And I, that's a good chance that they hear me, so let's double check again. Okay, I can hit five targets. And that's three of the guys that are on a watch. I'm not sure that it will get much better than this, so... Loose cannon. And of course, once again, people who are in Overwatch who are clearly marked as being hit were not hit. That's really something I absolutely hate. Gift to have cereal right about now. You know what I do have though? I do have Reaper. So could do 9 damage, 8 damage. It's 4 potential Reaper targets. I don't think I can get anywhere in range to um, launch a grenade though. Hmm. And also Depending where the rest of the map is, Reaper might actually, yeah, pull some additional stuff here, obviously. Let's double check again here. This might take a bit longer. So this is pretty much the only spot I can move to. And that does not pull any of the overwatches, okay. Five enemies flashbanged. I think that's probably the best I can do right now. Got it. I'm thinking that we just take down the Rocketeer here. Probably not even necessary. That's hey, right. we got loot here. Yeah, and I don't have a pistol because I packed in a uh, whatever that weapon is. Okay, so about that Reaper, huh? Okay, so I do have a base to hit of, what is it, 88, weapon accuracy, so 113. So, do any of the enemies have more than 15 defense? 
No, they all have 15, so it's 98 to hit on all of them. It's so risky to pull additional stuff though. Okay, let's bring Andy a bit over here. Heading out. He can saturation fire. I mean, maybe saturation fire is in this position the better play instead of Reaper. It's obviously the safer play. Less fun play. Promotion earned. Multiple targets down, and this, this time it wasn't civilians. Okay, so these two are flashbanged, leaving us only with that guy in the back who's uncontrolled. So why don't we come over here? I don't want to pop 45, because I'd rather they shoot scooter than lockdown. And rapid fire that elite gunner. Perfect. X ray neutralized. Okay, so far so good. You've got to be joking. No, no, I'm completely serious. That loot has to be joking now. There it is. Okay, that's fine. Ah, he has 7 HP and a bit of um, ablative. So that officer on a non-crit max roll could kill me. So I'm not gonna steady, I'm just gonna hunker. much useful stuff that you can do. Move. Let's move over a bit. Okay, and as long as we don't see a sector port marching through that train car now, we should be fine for a turn. See that? see any sector pot destruction over here so might be all right okay so 7166 hmm. what do you have 55 why don't we take just a bunch of 55s on the officer see if we can actually scratch that reload demolition Old two for one demolition here. Yeah. Um, Grenadier will eighty percent crit so. Do I take a precision shot or do I just kill him this way? What's the cooldown on Dead Eye? Free turn, precision shot, four turn. You know what? Let's take Dead Eye. No gambles. What did you got here? Talk about no gambles. Um, Ninety-five. Yeah. Nice. That worked better than expected. I was really concerned that when those eight guys showed up 
on the opposite side of uh, our position. Now, finding that sweet spot between not too far advanced and not too far in the back with an assault. Okay, how about this then? Okay. I'm yeah, trusting you here. Definitely coming from this side. Got it covered. Right, that should do it. Oh, I should have. Um, no. Yeah, I should get the loot with Fiona. Um, but I also want to know where the sector part is. Okay, you know what? Let's battle scan. Ooh, yes. Is that a single group or are those two groups? Like, those are eight enemies. But I don't want to live in a world where Sectopod can come in a group with seven other enemies. Also, um, yeah, let's not stay here. Understood. Moving out. Okay, here's sniper, uh, vipers, not snipers, from this direction. They're coming in. I don't think they have trigger. And it certainly seems like a single large group of... Screw that. Phew. Tricky. I mean, we do have a shot here, all right? With 60 to crit. Can we do a shredder? Double tap? And not much else. What else is on the map? Actual high ground with trees and high cover and stuff. Okay, um, yeah, this... I'm, I'm sorry. This mission might take a bit longer. Because I'm probably gonna reposition here. That's a pot of death that I don't want to deal with um, in unfavorable terrain. Okay, I've done what you asked. Also, for snakes. They are definitely an alert because they might see a body or two here. Okay, let's bring you in here. Triggering. I'm on it. Okay, I need to move in this direction, kill that pot, and stay far enough away from, from this group at the same time. Crazy. You got it. Take cover behind the fridge. Uh, why is that the oven? Whatever. This should not trigger yet. Okay. Solid copy. Yeah, getting that loot might be nice, but uh, this is not my main concern right now. Locked and loaded, Danny. Snakes. Good to go. Steady and an overwatch here. 
Okay, that triggering. And they're not triggering any overwatches. Also only have cost one overwatch overwatch on their side. 15, 15, 12, 15. Where's my grapple? Okay, bunch of 91s, eh? You can only see this thing anyway. I'm tempted to combat protocol to clear the overwatch. Then I can run. up here and grenade these guys probably not question is can I can I get here is there anything I can get with the trench gun run and gun trench gun turret on this train hmm how about where is uh, daddy okay what if I come out here and freeze cross bomb has what kind of radius like five tiles. I might be able to get all three of them. Just means I need to kill this, move on, take some shots, and deal with the next turn. Okay, so. Add up. Combat protocol to clear the watch. this position if if the frost bomb cannot hit all the targets that I want then I have a problem and it won't yeah that's the only way I can hit this thing okay change of plans Let's kill everything this turn. Push them back. Okay, this thing is dead. These no longer have cover. Um, it looks like they do, but they don't. So I just need to kill this thing. Take a precision shot at this thing. Hmm. OK, 
Okay, run and gun, trench gun, those two are dead. Might trigger the turret. Concerned that it highlights my own tree cover. Did not hit this thing. Okay. Like I, I want to keep moving in this direction to get away from that sector pod. I'm not sure if they completely come back here. They might also be just moving back in that direction. Do I want to gamble on that? No way. Okay. So that being said. I don't get a shot on that elite there, the sidewinder, whatever. Guess I have to come down here. Move into position. An 81. That's not a gamble I'm taking. Or maybe... Maybe I should take hail of bullets here. Then Scooter can 93 of this with first shot, move away. And Danielle can, if it survives, kill this, run away with death from above shot. Or maybe we roll max damage and kill this sidewinder. needs to hit. mission so far. On your order. Maybe not me way. running around finding that perfect spot, but um, yeah, the rest. Hmm. No, that's the wrong position. Perception PCS. Hmm. Do I want to keep an eye on this whether or not they're following me? Maybe. You've got to be joking. Oh, that might... Is that triggering? It is triggering. Watch the flanks! Okay. Good news is... A bunch of them... Uh, sitting around a car. Bad news is uh, I can okay I can grapple up here. Now what are my options? Can do this baby of a plasma grenade hitting. Six enemies probably blowing up the car, shredding, doing all these things. Yeah, alternatively, I can do this sort of thing and freeze five of them. Or, you know, I could uh, reload, command, and cyclic fire, and have any stand on the open. Like this is this is a really bad spot right now. No ammo, and standing out in the open. I 
Jetzt haben wir nur Ammo und nur Shots. Und mehr vier. Not much. Running kann es on cooldown. Slugshot on the sector port. So what's my biggest concern right now? There's also number eight. I don't see number eight. no point running and trying to get to my high ground. We are just... I must have activated really just by one tile or something. Okay, so do we focus fire the sector port or rather get some? I think get some makes more sense. And then we're going for this Grenade of all grenades. Yes. And please also blow up the vehicle. Did not. Okay. Here we need to grapple to this corner spot. Deploying grapple. And then double tap the sector box. And another one for the way. It's down to 13. Kill it with a slug shot. I guess that'll be okay. So I'm not sure how exactly my shot now get 10% worse. Wasn't it 95 when I was standing here? Doesn't make too much sense to me, but okay. Blows up the car, car explosion takes down the snakes. Okay. Well, it doesn't look too terrible right now, if I'm completely honest. Give an eight protocol up top. And probably, I don't know, now we have terrible shots. Probably a combat protocol to kill the serpents. whole lot of damage, he's down to three. You know, this might actually be the repo opportunity. A comet protocol here. Okay, what's our... Uh, let's see, what's my damage? 
9 to 13 with 85% to crit. Let's not take chances. I mean, okay, chances are Reaper might activate the last group or the last two groups. But it will clear up. No, it won't because I don't see that thing. What can you do here? In that window, you will see literally nothing. Could take a shot at that snake from here. On the move. Let's actually take two shots. At 43. Well, you know, just take one shot. That works for me. Here comes the Reaper. And that's that's just number eight from this point, right? Rocket here. Uh, yeah. to 12. Hang on a second. About that combat protocol. No, not in vision. Like, I mean, my two options are I run away, he doesn't have any targets and needs to run up. Maybe gets a shot off. Yeah. Or I go in there. 8 to 12 damage. So I have a 50-50 to chance, um, kill him from damage alone. And 35 to stun. So that's like, I don't know. 20-30% that this fails. Hands off! Here comes the Reaper. Fun. Let's not do that again. Whew. That's exhausting, I tell you. Playing video games. Elite Scope, Elite Expanded Magazine. I have the All feeling right. that sector pods even have better loot. Okay, with that out of the way. I mean, I don't want to go into super casual mode right about now, but I'm kind of confident that we don't need to run for the hills. Let's reposition and reload. That was the most awkward move right about now. Um, Oh yeah, heading out. So that we do have cover to the I'm on it. sides where the enemy will most likely come from. Rock and roll. Move out. Push him back. I did not hear a sound. Okay. We know that there's a turret here. That's pretty much the only enemy, so to say. Um, okay, I think I wanna stay a turn here. Overwatch Covered. everything. Covering now. Come get some. I'm on it. Affirmative, covering now. 
Just to see if Yana know hears anything. Nothing. Okay, I'd say we continue moving in this direction and along the train. I don't know if I call it interesting. Also, let's just kill that turret. Double tap it. Good night. Shot. By the numbers. Now, obviously, there's a uh, corpse now here. There was a group here. They now know where the action is. So maybe that might have been a bit overzealous. What's over there? I'm on it. Moving to position. But we'll slowly move into this direction. Or maybe not that slowly. Good copy, moving on target. Scanning. Then again, after this these encounters, I don't wanna ruin this mission by playing carelessly now. For obvious reasons. Okay, I've done what you asked. Still nothing. I feel like if there was something here, then we probably heard something at some point. Headed there now. I guess that'll be okay. Getting it done. Move, move, move. Auto watch. Okay. Sure thing. And the officer. Move it out. In the center of his spot. Also, I should probably at some point just airdrop our last grenade on him. He still has one and the frost bomb. Hmm, no, that's the wrong position. Okay. I'm I'm trusting you here. Seems all moving to position fine and dandy. Get it covered. Overwatch. Overwatch. I mean, the safe play would be probably to just moving to keep everyone in one area, scout around the map with the shinobi. Once you find the enemy, move everybody. Get bored and even talking about that. Let's just go, go, go. keep the spot together. Let's go just a little bit ahead and mainly listen. Okay. I mean, how many spots are there where the enemy could be? Out. Surprise, everyone's in that train car. On it. Affirmative. Okay. Scanning. I really. I'm just a bit Grappling. uncomfortable with uh, no steady weapon. So I'll Absolutely. keep that going. Move, move, move. Was 
last but not least. Take no rest here. For the weary. If what confuses me the most is the fact that we really haven't heard anything. I mean, not even the, the, the sound clues that you get, whether you hear the sound waves, but... I have a bad feeling about this. I mean, if there's an Andromedon on the map, you hear him from turn one. Let's do this humming sound. Is that the, the engine? Mm. No, that's the wrong position. Steadying my weapon this turn. Already there. Okay, so we started at the end of the train, we're now at the front. Oh. Movement. Oh, maybe maybe they are actually in in the band train here. I mean, judging by these, the, the sound thing, it should be right there. Not a problem. What's over there? Okay. And at this point. Since we already heard the movement, I kind of want to be on your order. Overwatching every turn, which obviously cuts down on my speed. On your order. But has the other perks like Moving on target maybe location. surviving? Okay, except for you, you come Get in there. way over there. Yes, okay, yes, okay. No, you can steady that weapon. And we no longer hear anything. Great. No, I'm going to check out that old base in the cliffs. Yeah, maybe we'd have more success over there. You know what? I'm gonna do something a bit more risky. Not really. Maybe I could use the wind. Just wanna check the other side of the train here. Because those sound indicators were kind of a bit in this direction. Sometimes they're actually from halfway across the map though, so you never know. Playing it safe. If, if you say so. At least until I hear I'm the next it. thing or see something. Moving to position. So good so. Affirmative. Covering out overwatch. Closing on target position now. Moving to overwatch. Sure thing. Just trying to get better angles here. Mm, yeah. Push forward. Push them this time. Right, got it. Whoa. It's another rainbow pot. And they found our old base of operations. 
they're like, oh, guys, I think we might have um, a bit late to the party. Talk about late to the party. How do we engage that? I mean, one way would obviously be just overwatching and picking them off with snipes. What do we have on it? When it comes to priority targets, we've got a rocketeer, got a grenadier, and a shield bearer. Next question is how far away are they? Not super far. Idea though. Okay, let's double check here. They will not see us on our side of the train, right? Just once we start getting up there. Okay. This could be some glorious cheese. Um, Let's bring Frosty McFroster's son Move it. in here. Bring Centipede like in here. Move, now watch move. line of sight be buggy and we once again have vision through the solid train. Andy. Stay in here. Okay, so my plan kind of is hoping they, they move a bit closer. I frost bomb at least six or seven of them. At le at least. Just small it's the small things that I want here. Okay, so maybe like four or five. And then I trench gun and or saturation fire the ones that are frozen and mop up the rest. You do have shots from here, and I can't really... Yeah, okay, let's just stay here. Steady weapon. Roger that. Affirmative, covering now. So... Hmm. Fascinating. This triggers. This does not. Move out. That's three of them. That's not really what I was looking for. Question is. Hmm. What kind of free are they? Grenadier, Rocketeer, and whatever, Trooper. Also, was it just free? Because I don't see all of them. I just see five out of eight. So, why don't we get a little bit of a better look? I'm working on it. Well, That actually looks like I could get five out of them. So, hell yeah. The 
<laughs> yeah, well, guys, should, should we should we do something here? Guys? Okay, I guess the logical conclusion at this point is to look at our shots, see that we exactly can hit the shield bearer, and double tap him into Let's the next it. map. No, we got one more. Don't run away yet. We deliver. That's right. So, first sergeant and elite trooper. That's an elite trooper. <laughs> Poor advent. Um. Yes. On your order. Well, this is going kind of good right now. What? No, that's a frozen one. That's frozen. And that's not frozen. Come on. Just a switch move. Just attack. X -ray neutralized. So you're telling me. Going in for the kill. You are telling me. This Run first it. sergeant is the only enemy that's not frozen right now. Hundred percent, eighty-one to crit. Good night. Oh, I definitely got that one. How do we feel about the saturation fire? That's a trick question. We always feel good about that. Okay, so let's just dash up here. They're not going anywhere. Um. So, you guys look cold. Have some heat. Two. We have multiple targets down. Oh yes, we do. I'm, I'm trusting you here. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. I'm not gonna lie. I was this close to uh, dropping an evac and getting out of here. Because I had my doubts about this mission. When we f encountered those first groups, sector pod and a full group of eight, and the fact that the sector pod itself was also with a group of eight and like... I was hoping for more smaller groups. I'm not super comfortable engaging in enemy groups of eight if my own squad is just seven soldiers, and one of them mainly being used for scouting. But then getting through this mission? Flawless? Wow. That was awesome. That was a lot of fun. That's what XCOM is all about for me. These are the kinds of missions I get hyped for. And, yeah. Maybe I'm a bit too vocal about it, but, yeah, this this is what I'm missing when I do a stealth mission. Really pumped. It's almost 1 a.m. here, and I need to stop recording, but I want to keep playing XCOM. Okay, some well one deserved promotion, one, so at least one or oh, two. Good work out there. Gunnery sergeant over here. I'm still not sure my kill zone is in the no in the tree for you. Um scanning protocol is nice, but I really like the additional overwatch from threat assessment. So let's get this. Then 
This is a tough one. It's not, actually. I did not get cool under pressure. I picked cyclic fire for any, which means kill zone. As much fun as it is, won't, won't cut it here. So I think with that in mind, it's gonna be combat fitness to make sure all three shots of cyclic fire actually hit where they are supposed to hit. Rupture is also nice, but I've, as I said, I think Rupture is what the, the Rangers provide and the Gunners profit from. So if someone else ruptures, use Cyclic Fire. Dead enemies, happy commander. Sounds good. Um, yeah. Elite Scope, Elite Expandent, Perception, Psionic. 156 supplies, a bunch of allies in the delirium, another sector pod wreck, so we actually got two of them. Do I complain now that there was no Mutant Elite and we didn't get another corpse? Nah, I, I'll hold back. I'll hold back. Incendiary bomb coming. By the way, yeah, uh, between episodes, I just advanced like one day. We finished one shadow project. We are working on the d second shadow project right now. Um, finishing that first one revealed the Codex Brain Coordinates, which are also in New Chile. Um, yeah, as a result of that, I kind of set everyone here to Intel, also in New and uh, West Africa. Because that even gives more incentive to actually start a liberation to cut down on the infiltration time. My original plan was to infiltrate now with Coyote Squad, but with sticks out for 14 days, that's not gonna happen. Unless I select a different officer, but then who else has infiltration? Yeah, Snake, who's also out for I think 9 more days, and Daddy Home who's the officer for a squad which does not have full master sergeants and for these missions you probably have to bring a top squad. Then again they just ace this supply rate so stop talking. Loud and clear. Yay, three rookies. Let's get you guys recruiting. Let's see if we can have an advisor. Who's available? Kinky, two tap. I think either two tap or big shot. You know what? I'm gonna throw a cut in here. I'll do some housekeeping between episodes, and when we come back, we'll have some. Do we have some action? I think, yeah, Wolf is still out here. Wonder. Yeah, this is probably coming up then. But for now, I'm gonna put a cut in here. Thanks for watching. That mission was so much fun. Spumped. Okay, yeah. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.